Today we're going to be painting the calipers on my buddy's Mazda Speed 3. You ready to go? Alright, so first thing, take the tires off. Alright, so we're going to do the rear first. The, the calipers have these little covers that cover the bolt. There's one on the bottom and then one on the top right here we're going to take off. Right? Yeah, so it's a number 7 Allen. Just break them both loose. Right. Alright, there we go. Now let's take, pull it out. Same thing with the top. There it comes. Alright, we're going to pop out this spring now. I just have a little screwdriver. We're going from either side. Now I'm wearing a full face shield, but definitely wear some sort of eye protection for this. Well, that was actually a little anticlimactic, but I got it. All right, so now we can take off the caliper. Just wiggle it back and forth, and then wiggle and pull. It should come off slowly. There we go. So to make the caliper come out, um, I had to slide this uh, little uh, slider, I guess you would call it, so the brake line wasn't in so much tension. Okay, so now that we got the caliper off, we're going to clean it thoroughly so we can mask it and the tape will stick to it and obviously we're gonna paint it. So it's got some brake clean and a wire brush. And we're just gonna go around the whole thing like this <clears throat> until it's clean. Take the brackets off next, and they are 14 millimeters. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was in that tight. Yeah. And then out comes the bracket. All right, now we're gonna mask everything off. Okay, we went overkill on the masking because uh, we didn't want to take the caliper off, and it's a new car. I don't want any paint on his paint. So everything's masked and now it's ready to paint. But now we're going to do the front wheel and get them both ready. Alright, now we're at the front and we're going to go in the back and just like in the rear we have these little covers that cover the bolt heads. And the bolts are 7 millimeter Allen wrench by the way for the front and the back. So there's one and there's another one right underneath of it. Alright, we're going to break these loose. Come off real easy. Alright, this next, the second one, I need an extension to go past the brake line, but it came off just as easy. Yeah. Alright, so you have to get underneath with a pair of angled pliers to pull it out because you're going to need to pull, reach into the crevice. Okay, so now I'm going to wear this big face shield because we need to remove this spring right here. And I want to keep my eyeball. Oh, here, look. What? Found it. Got it. Alright, so now we're ready to take this humongous caliper off. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> Got it. My God. This is enormous. <laughs> we're gonna need Got a it. bucket of paint. So now we need to remove the brake pads. This one has a little spring that goes into the piston. And this other one is springed in through here. So I'm just going to push it out like that. Ugh. There. Right, we're going to take this out, this little clip here, just like we did in the back. So we can uh, have more slack on the brake line. Yeah, there you go. That's like a little slide. Yeah. 
I was definitely in the camera view for that. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It slid out like that. All right, now we're gonna remove these two bracket bolts. And then the bracket should come right off. I guess. Okay, now we're gonna clean this guy off and the bracket and mask this whole area just like we did in the back. And then we're finally ready to paint. All right, we're ready to start painting now. Okay, we're ready to start painting now. Um, we're inside, so I'm wearing a mask. So here we go. Uh, you don't want to go too heavy the first coat. Okay, so now we're doing the front one. Hold the pan straight. We got the brackets. Go. All right, um, we're about three coats in, and now we're just gonna let them dry, and then we're gonna put it all back together. All right, we let them sit for three hours, and now we're peeling off. Peeling off, well, peeling okay. off the masking. Yes, peeling off the masking. All right, now we're gonna put the brake pads back in. And I'm gonna drink a beer. Oh, let's go scratch the paint. On the inside. There we go. And then let's squeeze this one in here. Put that. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna put anti seize on these tangs. Not too much. That's a little bit too much. Put the caliper on the rotor. <laughs> this might be a little bit of a pain. Oh, that was super easy. All right, we're gonna put the two bracket bolts back on. All right, we got the slide pins, which we're gonna lubricate. Put it in. Seven millimeter Allen? Yep, seven millimeter Allen. Get the other one. Tighten her down. Forget these little clips or these little uh, plugs that go on the back. Boot covers. Boot covers. There we go. Now we got to put this brake line back on. All right, we got this line, and you have to push it up from the bottom. We have Who figured that out, Matt. Brian did. So now we have to <laughs> put the clip in. It just goes in the little groove. We're just gonna push it. There we go, good to go. Now we have this spring which we painted black. And I believe I'm gonna put these two tangs in. Well, let's see here. I don't wanna scratch the paint. There. there we go, let's pull that back. Perfect. And that's it. We'll wipe it off. But well, that's the front. Let's go to the back. Okay, we're in the rear now. We're threading in the two bolts for the bracket. Sorry. It's good. That's fine. Don't over torque it. We're gonna put that right here on this tang here. Yeah. And over here. I kind of lost some footage there, but. Um, it was just Brian putting in the brake pads that just slide in. The one with the spring goes in the back. Now we're going to put the caliper on. Right. Slide it on. 
There you go. Calipers on. Perfect. Now we're gonna lubricate the slide pins and then bolt it down. All right, so it's gonna go on this foot here. Yeah, and a little. So insert it in. That's what she said. Yeah, there we go. Tighten it by hand first, and then hit it down with the wrench. And do one at a time, not one all the way. As you can see, we didn't paint the back of the caliper because nobody could see it. But you can if you want to. Yeah, it's good. Too much. That's, that's fine. Like, you don't need to go that much. Now we have these boots. Yeah, put the boots on. It might be. I don't know. <laughs> okay, putting the boots back in for the bolts or the covers. There we go. Now we're done with the back. Not yet. Not yet. We still have the, oh, we still have the spring. Alright, so we're going to put the spring in now. Just put the two... Uh... Like that? Yeah. Does that go around? No, they go in the holes right there. Matt's gonna put this spring in without scratching the paint like I was. Let's see if I can. Back to Brian. Okay, we got it in. Uh, you have to, you have to um, put it in the hole first, and then they go on the outside of the tangs, uh, and then just pull it in. It was kind of tricky, but just. Now we're gonna wipe them down. Yeah, we're gonna wipe Show them down. Show you guys what it looks like. Put the wheels on. Alright, now we're gonna put both wheels back on. And then, do the same exact thing to the other side. This took all day, so we had to wait between uh, coats and stuff like that. And wait for it to dry enough to handle. So we're gonna do the other side tomorrow. But the next scene will be the car finished out in sunlight. Okay, it's a couple days later. Yeah. Looking pretty sweet. What do you think, Brian? They look good. Yeah. Man, I see that. Yeah. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.